Lisa D. Hart here, Three Minutes with the Main Guide. Let's get right to it. Here's those tarp structures I promised. So here is our first tarp model. I'm going to rotate it, okay? So the structure is going to be one-third brow and two-thirds sloping off the back, okay? The poles, of course, would be the clove hitch over the pole, and they would be my setting poles. And uh, these corners here, of course, would be lines tied to trees. Now, here's what I really like about this structure. Super versatile for cooking. You can have your fire at this pole. You can have your fire at this pole. You can also have it right underneath the brow, and it'll still stay dry that fire. Here's something I like to do. I like to take one of my setting poles or a paddle and I like to just open it out in the middle like that and have it just a little more open like that uh, but just a really nice versatile structure. Here's our next tarp structure. This one divides equally in half. It's put at the midway point. The setting poles are at the midway point of the tarp. And, of course, these corners would be lines tied out to a tree. And, again, I like the third pole in the back that kind of just opens it up. And you can see that. I like this. Uh, this third pole at the back is usually um, not where the fire would go. But I like this because the fire can go at this pole. The fire can go at this pole. And it's just a really nice versatile structure that just sheds the water great. If it's really, really dumping down rain, that's when a center line here will go straight to the ground and just shed that water off that roof. Here is our diamond shelter. Okay, single pole in the front at one of the corners, the three corners, staked down with your with this beautiful v to the wind okay back to the wind right and then nice opened up with a paddle on the inside smaller fire definitely for the cook you know protecting that fire pit and being able to, able to cook for a group takes top priority but when you've got that set up with this V structure and your back to the wind, you'll see just like in my video when I was on the West Branch of the Penobscot and I had this set up and I had that little plastic cutting board on that table that didn't move an inch. That's the power of that in the punishing winds. So that's the structures. Tune in next week. We'll answer the age old question, how not to melt your tarp. I'm Lisa Dehart, and you've just spent three minutes with the main guide. Thank you.